the TCLP series might be the best kept secret as it pertains to TVs in 2017. For those in the know, it's been revered as the best 4K HDR TV for under $1,000, but is this true? I take a look at the Fabled P series in this episode and bring you my thoughts. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of GearLive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech gadgets and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at the TCL P series. It is pretty much seen as the best value for dollar of any TV set from last year in 2017. And by the way, big shout out to TCL for sending over the P-Series. Now, if you caught my video from a couple of weeks ago, you saw that I gave you a preview of TCL's upcoming 6-Series TV. That one actually replaces the P-Series and is even more feature-packed than last year's already impressive model. If you wanna check that one out, I will leave a card up above as well as a link in the description so you can check out TCL's upcoming 6-Series as well. That one launches in spring 2018. But let's take it back to the P-Series. This here is TCL's P-Series TV. It's a 55-inch display and sells for $649. For that price, it has all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a TV that literally would cost twice as much. I'm talking about TVs from companies like LG, Samsung, and Sony. As far as the spec list, it's very impressive. It supports HDR. It's got full array local dimming, a 60 hertz refresh rate, DCI-P3 color space, and to top it all off, it's got Roku built in. So you don't have to buy a separate set-top box. It's got everything that a Roku set-top box would have all built into the TV, including the thousands of Roku channels. Around the back of the TV, you've got three HDMI ports that support HDCP 2.2, a USB port, Ethernet port, and there's also a legacy composite connection back there as well. Now, if there's one thing I would ding the P-Series for, it would be the look of the physical TV unit. The build is made mostly from plastic and the edges have some chrome caps on them, which do show fingerprints. The buttons on the TV itself do have a decent press, but overall the design leaves a little bit to be desired. But when the look of the physical hardware of a TV is your biggest drawback, you know you've probably stumbled on something that's pretty good. And the second you turn on the P-Series, the beautiful picture will steal your attention from the frame. And that's probably why you're here in the first place. What you care about is the display itself. And what good are all those specs if the picture isn't good? Surprisingly enough, for under $1,000, you will not find a better picture on a TV today. As I mentioned, you can even compare this to TVs that cost up to $1,500, and the picture quality will be on par, if not better, than those. That is thanks in part to the 72 contrast zones inside the P-Series, meaning the difference between light and dark and color is all very impressive. And this is throughout the whole panel. The TV also has picture modes and scenes to help you achieve these results. And of course, you can dig into the menus to fine tune things even more. When doing TV calibration, one thing that I did find was that the whites were a little too bright compared to everything else, which could give it a washed out look in some very specific instances, but it's probably not something most people would ever notice. That said, I do think the movie mode out of the box for the P-Series is the very best setting you can use. The movie mode gives you the deepest blacks and pulls the whites back just a bit to avoid that issue. I mentioned that TCL is using Roku for the smart TV platform. Inside the box, you will also find a Roku remote. This is your standard TV remote, but it also has specific shortcut keys for some of the apps that the TV has built in. Roku, of course, has hundreds and hundreds of apps and streaming channels, and many play in glorious 4K HDR. Roku is a fantastic addition, and it's something you'd likely pay roughly $100 for separately. So to have it built in here on a TV that only cost $649 in the first place makes this TV even more of a steal. Another thing that the P-Series has going for it is the HDR modes themselves. A lot of TVs these days, even that ship today, and even ones that are more expensive, support 
HDR10, but not as many also support Dolby Vision. But the TCL-P series supports both. So HDR10 is what you're gonna find on game consoles, most streaming media, and your 4K Blu-ray discs. Dolby Vision is a more advanced version of HDR that you don't see as much, but you do see it streaming on places like Netflix on select titles. And also you're starting to see it roll out to some select 4K Blu-ray discs as well. If you wanna have the best of both worlds and get the absolute best flavor of HDR, you need a TV that supports both protocols and the P-Series does that perfectly. And finally, for all my gamers out there, the TCL P-Series is a gamer's paradise. You've got a 60 hertz refresh rate and super low latency between you and the input. This TV shines really well when it comes to games. Any game you're thinking of playing is gonna look great. And again, that input lag is almost virtually non-existent, 15 milliseconds even if you're playing a game with HDR enabled, which is virtually unheard of in the TV market, especially at this price point. So there you have it, guys. That was your look at TCL's P-Series TV. If you wanna pick one of these up, do some digging around. They may be hard to find because over the past year that the P-Series has been available, it's often sold out because it's so popular. Now again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, TCL is getting ready to refresh the P-Series with the brand new 6 Series. That drops later this year in spring 2018. If you wanna hold off and wait, the 6 Series addresses the few negatives that I mentioned about the P-Series. In full, the 6 Series is gonna be the TV to beat when you're comparing performance per dollar. But now I want to hear from you guys. Do you have one of the TCL P-Series TVs? Have you used one? Let me know down in the comments below what TV you're using to game on, and I will meet you there for further discussion. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, you can click or tap on my face here at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.